Javed Abdi Foundation, JAF, which also stands for Journalism, Advocacy and Fun. Please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, like, comment and share. Uh, to, be, uh, to be very brief, uh, Nepan Foundation is primarily an advocacy organization and I think in India, in terms of uh, advocacy, in fact, of course, Mr. Javed Abedi, on whom this foundation is, your foundation is named, uh, and your uncle, was the first person in the, uh, who really started thinking of advocacy for persons with disabilities in India. But uh, I still think that even today in 2020, compared to other uh, minorities or other social groups, disability has very few advocacy organizations. And I think uh, in India, at, there are only a handful of disability advocacy organizations that really are looking at the rights of persons with disabilities because a lot of organizations still look at it disability from a charity perspective, you know, in terms of So Nepan Foundation is one of the few advocacy organizations. Uh, I started it in 2012. I went to uh, St. Stephen's and went to Delhi School of Economics. And when I was in Delhi School of Economics, I kind of decided to sit for placements and I kind of saw the discrimination persons with disabilities face first hand. And that's what really made me realize that one really has to raise their voice in the system to really be counted uh, to create uh, the change you really want to make. Uh, and uh, that's what kind of inspired me to start Nippon Foundation in 2012. Uh, so what are the areas Nippon Foundation works in? I uh, personally feel that there are three challenges persons with disabilities face. And I think every challenge which persons with disabilities can be faced can be put into these three primary challenges. And I like to call them the three E's. And the three years are attitudes, accessibility, and affordability. Uh, so we do a bunch of things on all these three A's. When it comes to attitudes, of course, uh, uh, we do a lot of sensitization workshops. I give a lot of uh, speeches like I'm giving, the, like the one I'm giving here today. Uh, we go to corporates, uh, try to sensitize them on why they should have equal opportunities for persons with disabilities. I think the RPW Act 2016, with something I mean, you've also been working on in the last year or so is a great opportunity you know, to include the private sector for the first time because before 2016, uh, we were not even considered uh, much as for the 1995 Act. Uh, but at the same time, a lot of companies don't even know that there is something called an RPW Act 2016 or the fact that they need to make equal opportunity policies. So even though the Act says that they're compulsory, there's a real lack of sensitization. And secondly, uh, there are a lot of companies that say that Chalo, hai, hum logo ko hire karne lag jate hai. but what about their own employees? Do they know how to interact with the person with a disability? Uh, we also work a lot with schools because I've also realized that uh, in a lot of schools uh, in India, disability education is not really taught, like there's environmental education or there's gender education. So I've actually written a comic. I'd be happy to share it with you once uh, this lockdown is over. You know, yeah, definitely. You can share it with you. And uh, you could even circulate it with the attendees here. But... Uh, uh, this comic is actually called uh, No Red Card for the Disabled. It's my own school, uh, journey of my own school life. And I actually go to schools and interact with children because I think uh, getting awareness amongst children is very important on disability. Uh, as far as accessibility is concerned, we of course do a lot of physical accessibility audits like a lot of other NGOs. But more than that, I've actually realized that the courts are a great tool to ensure accessibility. Because when you do an audit, you really cannot scale it up. You just do an audit of one building or two buildings or three buildings. But I think uh, if you use the courts well, you can actually create a lot of change. For example, in 2015, 16, the Delhi government announced odd even. Uh, yeah, I think it was the end of 2015, they announced for the first two weeks of Jan 2016. Uh, I actually filed an accessibility audit. Uh, I filed a PEIL, not just to exempt persons with disabilities from odd even, but also demanding that. Uh, a mobility audit of the entire city of Delhi is done. And then the court actually ensured that more than 100 accessibility audits of various public infrastructure of uh, Delhi take place in that sense. So I think accessibility is a big key and uh, that's something that we're working on. More recently, we actually filed a PIL and we actually defeated the Delhi government in the court when they were deciding, then when they decided by 2000 standard law buses. Standard law buses are buses that are not really accessible to persons with disabilities and like low floor buses. And because of a PIL, the Delhi government was forced to announce, uh, was forced to introduce hydraulic lifts in those buses. Now, I would personally believe that even a hydraulic lift is not really a perfect solution. What we need is low floor buses. And the Supreme Court did make the Delhi government say on affidavit that in the future, all the procurements will be low floor buses. But it was a partial victory in terms of the fact that at least something is better than nothing. And uh, the Delhi government was at least forced to have ramp hydraulic lifts on those 2000 buses. 
Yeah. Uh, the third challenge persons with disabilities face is affordability or cost of living. I think that is a constant battle that uh, every non-profit should really be aware of. One of our programs is this program called Wheels for Life, where we connect people who need wheelchairs to people who can donate wheelchairs, and we've actually impacted more than 1,600 lives by giving people wheelchairs in the last three years through Wheels for Life. And there are a lot of people who say that uh, this is, you know, slightly charity model based uh, program. But I think my counter to that is really that uh, I think mobility aids, to be honest, are not really a charity because they actually empower persons with disabilities. Because as the social model of disability also says, right, that uh, what is disability? Disability is when there are any barriers that prevent a full inclusion of a person with a disability in society. And I think mobility aids are one of the first aids that ensure that persons with disabilities can be fully included. JAF is a youth-led initiative. We deeply appreciate the support of all our interns and volunteers. Thank you. You can follow us on Facebook at Javed Abdi Foundation and you can tweet us at Rishad Shamir.